All right, today I've got a 2010 528i X Drive, and it needs a rear wheel bearing. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take the tire off, get the brakes off, and see what we have to do to get the bearing out of this car. I know we're gonna have to, to uh, slide hammer the hub off. So I have my slide hammer all ready to go. And here's the new bearing. It's got a, it came with a new axle nut. And here is the new bearing. It looks like it just bolts in. So maybe this one will be a lot easier. We still have to take the axle out. So we're going to have to take some type of control arm off or something over here to get the knuckle loose so we get the bearing out. I'll come back after I get the brakes off and the tire off. All right, so I went ahead and started taking the brakes stuff apart. We've got the caliper. I've wired it out of the way so it doesn't have any pressure on the brake hose. The, um, the bolts that hold the caliper on was a 7 millimeter Allen. The two bolts that hold on the caliper bracket that holds the brake pads are 18 millimeter. We've gotten the bolt out here of the of the um, for the rotor. So now the rotor, I've already beat on it and got it loose. I got my fingers in the way. Yeah, this should slide right off. And when you look in here, you can see there's the back side of the bolts for that bearing. Now the in here is pretty rusted, so I went ahead and put some penetrating oil in here. We'll have to get this nut off. Then we'll take the slide hammer, bolt it onto the hub, and yank the hub out before we take any of the other bolts off. So let me get the axle nut off and the, the puller on here and start pulling the hub off. All right, we got the axle nut off. We have the puller on. The axle nut was really rusted up. We took an air hammer and had to push the axle in so it's loose and we lubricated that all up. So now we're going to start beating on the hub to see if we can get it to come off. Give it another good hit. Hold it, hold it again. Oh, Let me get this bike up a little bit. Yeah, good job. I don't want this thing to go flying and hit the other car. I think we might be stuck. The axle might be stuck. Let me go get a. Uh, I think the axle is stuck in the hub. I think we're going to have to take it off and knock the axle in now. Yeah. I think what the problem is is the axle is seized in here, even though we moved it. So we're going to have to take the assembly all the way back apart, the air hammer in, and push the axle forward. So let's do that next. All right, like I said, the hub was actually seized on the axle. So we took the puller off, the slide hammer off, and got in here with the air hammer and beat on this to push the axle back through. This thing was really, really rusty inside. It looks like water sat in there. So now that we've got this part, we're going to have to cut this race off. And you can see this race doesn't look that good. So now we have to get around the back side, get these bolts off from the back side to get this hub assembly out. We'll have to cut this bearing off in the back room, get that off. Then we're still probably going to have to take the shock off and the upper control arms. we have to lean it forward to get a tool in here to pull this hub back on to the bearing assembly. So we'll continue working. I'll come back. 
Okay, so now I'm just working on, I already got that bolt loose. It's a E14 reverse Torx in here. So we're working on getting these four bolts out. Once we get those four bolts out, hopefully this hub will come off. And once we get this hub off, we we'll probably have to go in the back and beat it or beat it here to get it off. Then we'll go in the back room and set this up to cut this race off. Okay, after I took the four bolts loose from the back side, this basically fell out. So what I plan to do, the hub, you have to buy the hub separate from the bearing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this race off and then I'm gonna go ahead and press the new bearing onto the old hub and then reassemble and then reassemble it so I won't have to worry about trying to press this on with it on the car. It should work fine. I don't know why this and this doesn't come together like they do on like General Motors, Chevrolet trucks, and GMC trucks is all one piece. So I'll go ahead and get this cut off and we'll get the bearing everything assembled. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut this race off here. Usually what I do is I come in here with my my wizard tool. Now I have the shield taken off. You shouldn't use these without the shield on, but sometimes you have to because I'm gonna have to come in here at an angle like this to get it cut. Once I get it cut almost all the way through, then I take the chisel and the hammer and smack it. And here's one I already did. It cracks it. See the crack inside there? Once it cracks, it'll just slide right off. All right, got my hearing protectors on, got eye protection on. Very important here. Okay, I don't think I got it cracked yet, so I'm going to cut it a little bit more. There we go. I don't think you can really see in there, but I cracked it. That's actually, I cut a little bit too deep. And um, I just barely hit that, but that is not gonna do any damage at all. I'm gonna clean this up with some paper, some sandpaper, and we're gonna go ahead and press this together. And we're, oh, we're also gonna take a wire brush. We're gonna clean this out really good so the axle will slide in. We'll also take and clean the axle shaft off really good so it'll just slide in and out. Actually, what I might do before that, I might take this over there after I get it clean and make sure, and lubricate it, make sure it slides on the axle nice and easy so that won't fight me going back together. All right, so what I decided to do is go ahead and assemble the hub and the bearing together and then putting then bolting it back together as one piece like you normally do so here we go so I got the uh, hub shark here's the hub here's the new bearing gonna make sure I put the bearing in the right way the bearing needs to go on this way because the bolts come through this way through the hub go ahead and put I've already sanded that down put a little bit of oil on here here. 
and we'll assemble the uh, hook shark. This has a ring back here with the ABS pick. This is the ABS pickup, so you got to be careful not to damage that. So I want to make sure that this is in the right position. We should be all ready to go. Let's go ahead and press this bad boy in. Let me go and make sure that I'm putting the bearing in the right way first. All right, I went and got the old bearing, and as you can see. The one race is still on this, so this is the back side and this is the front side. So now we're all ready to press this together. go the hub and the bearing are all pressed together now we go back out and put it back on the car all right put anti-seize on the shaft and on this and cleaned it all up with a wire brush so let's put it back together All right, well, I got two of the bolts started. The other one's almost started. That one I had to crawl underneath to get started. So once I get all these started and tightened up, then I'm gonna bang on the axle lightly. It should slide through. Put the axle nut on, put all the brakes on. Should be good to go. Torque the axle nut, it should be done. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. So I'm not gonna show you how to put the brakes back on, but we'll go and see how it goes. I'll let you know if any of you have any problems, no problems. The video ends here. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe.